before we get into uh, agenda for the day, we just want to center ourselves around uh, a scripture and, and prayer. Um, and so if you have your digital Bibles, um, you can look with me at the first verse of Psalm 133. The first verse of Psalm 133. And this is how is it reads from the NIV. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. One of the things that I have wrestled with for a long time was when growing up, I'm sure your upbringing in church may have been different. But when all we ever heard was the purpose for Christ coming to earth was to die so I could get to heaven. And the older I have become, I began to wrestle with that theological nuance as it relates to the incarnation. Because I've come to realize that one of the reasons why I think we are in so much chaos is because we are bumping into each other on the highway to heaven and not understanding that I believe and I've come to accept as part of my theological understanding of why Christ came to earth was to teach us how to live in community. I believe that with, with every fabric of my being, that if I learn to live well in community, then heaven becomes an earth icing on the cake. That the purpose for my being called into relationship with Christ is so that I can be in relationship with one another. And so I hope that as we share in this space the next day and a half, that we focus more on what it is that God is calling us to be and do in community. Really, we don't need to worry about heaven because there's absolutely nothing you can do about heaven. You know. It's a promise that has been made, and if we believe in the promises of God, we will have it. Whether it's golden streets or a starry crown, or, you know, I, I find it hard to be walking around in long white robes every day of my life in heaven. But that I leave that for, you know, for the others, you know. So how can we begin to think about living in community? I, I think the three things I like to draw our attention to, in terms of how we begin to fashion our minds in, in thriving in community. One, I think we need to be intentional. The scripture says, behold, how good and pleasant it is. And in order for us to live in community, in the sense of unity, we have to be intentional about it. And, and sometimes intentionality requires some self-denial. That in order for us to thrive in community, we have to let something go of ourselves. And the only way we can do that, except for the fact we wake up every morning and say, I am committed to the process of thriving in community. The second thing I think we need to be concerned about in community is that, that whatever community we try to build must be inclusive. So it doesn't matter what your thinking is or what my thinking is, we must create the atmosphere that all thinking can, can be embraced so that together we will all come out of it with some commonality. Because any community that denied who I am denied me entrance. And one of the things that we have to be very careful with is just because someone is sitting around the table does not mean that that person is valued. 
one of the things I, I hear all the time, especially in corporate America, is that, oh, we, we have a very diverse board. You see, diversity is more than presence. Just because you have Asian American, African American, Anglo American around a board table doesn't mean it's a diverse board. It's a good optic. It's a good photo opportunity to put in your magazine. So we have a diverse board. But until diverse views are embraced and accepted, diversity does not take place. So diversity is more than presence. So not only should we be intentional about this community that we seek to build, we should be inclusive. But finally, we need to be incarnational. Any community that does not possess the face of Christ becomes a club. So the community that I hope for us to, to create, to build in NABF is that when they see us, they see the face of Christ. Because that's all what incarnational really means. In the hands of Christ, the feet of Christ, the heart of Christ, the mind of Christ. And so together for the next day and a half, as we listen and learn and share together. I hope we focus our minds around building a community called NABF, where all of us are valued, where all of us are appreciated, and where all of us can live out the true meaning of what it is to be called sons and daughters of Jesus the Christ. So once again, welcome. Thank you for being here. And let us seek to do the will of God. Let us pray. And God, we thank you for the presence of each other in this place. We seek your face, O oh God, to know what you've called us to be and to do. May we focus our minds on you. May we open our hearts to receive you. May we hear your voice. And may we go out into the highways and byways of our communities. And live as you have called us to live. And that is being keepers of one another. In Christ's name we pray.